Dozens of low-income seniors are worried about losing their homes tonight as they face rising rents they describe as predatory. Rents at their manufactured home community are increasing so much they fear that they could end up becoming victims of what they call economic eviction. Our North Bureau Chief Eric Wilkinson reports tonight from Linwood. There are about 85 homes here. Nearly everyone living here is either a senior, low income, or both. Since a new company bought the property last year, rents have gone up nearly 50%. And this is my little greenhouse that I've started. Dorian Deutsch tends to her garden. It's no hobby. She needs this food because it's so expensive at the store. These days, she can no longer afford meat. Should yield me with these three pods about 40 pounds for the year, which will help me greatly. Dorian moved to Linwood's Royal Wood Mobile Home Park 10 years ago, planning to stay for the rest of her life. But her rent jumped from $640 to $740 last year, and it's rising again in June to $948. The disabled Army veteran fears what could come next. I took a giant deep breath. I didn't know exactly how long I'd be able to continue to do this. And I really don't want to end up like my comrades under the bridges and in the streets. Royalwood was sold last year to a California-based company called Collective Communities. The rents went up immediately. In mobile home parks, people own their homes but rent the land they sit on. And that's the unique situation that we're, we're fighting right now. Homeowners met to discuss their options today. Linwood City Council member George Hurst says it's a problem in mobile home parks across the country. He fears collective communities will sell the land to developers sometime over the next five years, leaving many of the low-income seniors here with nowhere to go. I can't imagine the stress that you're under when you're faced with, on a fixed income, you're going to have to pay $300 more to live here when you thought you were safe. As for Dorian, she keeps planting, hoping she'll still have a kitchen to cook in this time next year. We need to be assured that our money can keep a, a roof over our heads. In an email to King 5, Collective Community said the rents are rising here because they've already invested $650,000 in the property and they plan to invest another million this year. Councilmember Hurst says he would like to see Snohomish County set aside funding for situations like this and state laws put into place to protect folks living in mobile home parks. In Linwood, Eric Wilkinson, K5 News.